for Stu's mac and cheese we need macaroni, some double cream, some cheese and about 50 grams of butter. We also need a few slices of bread. Um, we're just cutting these up roughly. We want to do this in preparation. Um, just cut them up. You're, you're going to use all of this. This is four slices of bread. You're actually going to use the crust as well, but they need a little bit longer in the food processor to make them into breadcrumbs. So just throw them in at the top. And then um, just roughly break them up, just makes the process a bit quicker and more precise. Um, and then just blitz them to be breadcrumbs. Now if you don't want to do this or you don't have a, uh, the appliance to do this then just um, use some store bought breadcrumbs. Also grate your cheese before you get started. Boil a kettle and just add the boiled water to the pot and then add your macaroni and add a little bit of olive oil to keep the macaroni from sticking. Give that a wee stir. And um, also don't forget to get your oven preheated, gas mark 6 or 200 degrees celsius for an electric oven. Add your seasoning to the water and just let that get back to the boil and then boil it for about 6 minutes until the, the macaroni is al dente. Don't want it too uh, much cooked because you're still going to put it in the oven as well. So. We're making a cheese sauce, what we're doing is putting a saucepan on the heat and adding the butter. We want that to melt but we don't want it to go brown so if you feel there's too much heat just turn it down slightly. Just let it melt until it looks like this and then add your double cream. If you want to do a low fat or least less fat version of this, um, use uh, you know a, a cream replacement or even use half cream, half milk just to cut down on the fat a little bit but obviously That's up to you. Mix these together and just add, you know, keep adding some heat. Um, once it's, uh, once it's sort of, uh, once you start everything together, you might want to lower the heat a little bit, especially once you start adding the cheese. Just add the cheese bit by bit. You don't want to add all of it because you still need some to put on top of your pasta bake. But you do want to add sufficiently to make it a nice and cheesy sauce. Pasta's been boiling away, so that's done. And you want to get the water off, shake off any excess water, and then return it to the pot. Now you're just going to add your cheese sauce and as you can see it looks pretty much like custard. doesn't taste anything like custard but that's sort of the consistency and the colour that you're looking for. Or at least the colour if you're using cheddar. Just stir in the sauce. You can have a wee taste, see if you're happy with, uh, with the flavouring. Just add a little bit more cheese just to give it that little stringiness once it comes out of the oven. If you find that it's a little bit dry, just add a, a touch more cream so that it goes nice and creamy. And then transfer all of that into your oven dish. And you want to just press that down a little bit to get it into the corners and whatnot. Then you put your breadcrumbs on top. And again, make sure you cover the whole surface, so get it into the corners and the sides. And the same goes for the cheese that you're going to put on top. a 
add a little bit more seasoning and then just put it in the oven. About 30 minutes, gas mark 6 or 200 degrees Celsius for an electric oven. Let's put it in the middle of the oven. Now if you want to impress your guests, you can make a little tomato flour to put on top. You just stick your knife in at an angle, keep going round until you get to the other side. Just go around the whole tomato. You want to use a fairly small knife for this and then just pull them apart gently and if necessary just cut the middle bit. And there you have it, two tomato flowers. And as you can see you can stick them on top and they look very posh. You can have a nice wee salad with your mac and cheese that just lifts it that little bit and you can see that we had some chips with that as well.